All right, homies, we freaking went fishing last night and didn't get anything. We didn't really stay that long. We were really, like tired and so we just left. Anyways, long story short, we're going to make some slates <laughs> and pleco case today. We're going to get tile and get a tile saw and show you guys how it's done. Boom. There's Jason waiting for the tile. We went to like a huge tile dealer to try and get a good discount on Slate. She tried to trick us into like getting this quartzite stuff or something. I don't even know if that's aquarium safe, but she didn't want to get the Slate because it was on the top shelf, but we made her get it. We're getting three pieces. We should be able to mess up a few times and get some good stuff made for you. We've been sitting here for a while, but next stop is Harbor Freight to pick up a saw. Some pretty big pieces, or like a whole entire car seat there. Just got to Harbor Freight. Jason's walking up. I'm getting a little footy. He doesn't even know it, but uh, this is where we're getting the old saw. All right, so we picked up the cheaper saw. It was um, like eighty-seven dollars for the saw and the blade. And there's dog poop right there. Anyways, opening it up, we'll show you what it looks like once we get it all out. These slates right here are the ones from Angels Plus. And we're gonna pretty much copy them. We might make them a teeny bit taller and a teeny bit wider. Over here, there's a little assembly required, but there's a, like a saw cover, a little jig, and then I don't know what these are yet. And this is the blade. These come separately when you buy them at Harbor Free. I don't know if you go to like Home Depot or whatever's by you, if it comes with this, but make sure you check the package to see if it has this. We got a four and a half inch one because it was a little cheaper, but uh, they also let's make like a seven or seven and a half or something. All right, so this is our tile saw that we got at Harbor Freight for I think it was $54, and then the blade was $17. I think Spencer mentioned that earlier. If not, that's what it was. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna go through how this thing works. <clears throat> so there's a reservoir of water down here, as you can see. And the blade is right here, and as it goes through that reservoir, it gets wet. That enables you to wet cut the slate. And we have a fence right here that we set up. The first one we're going to cut is going to be four inches, so we measured it. We just got a ruler just to double check. The fence, um, it just holds the slate against the fence here at four inches the whole way down, so it'll rip this distance or whatever you're trying to cut. Yeah, so it basically gives you a guide for a perfect cut. Yeah, it gives you a perfectly straight line. So that's how the old saw works. We're gonna show you guys how it works, like a little test run before we throw a tile through it, but you can see how the water from the reservoir comes out. It's gonna be a little loud, but you turn that bad boy on. comes around here and goes back down into the, the reservoir and there's a hole here as well. So this is the first slate we made. It's obviously pretty good. It's almost perfectly straight. We made this one a, a, a large size one. It's four inches wide and 12 inches tall. This is perfect for a 20 gallon long tank for discus. I noticed the discus uh, on the angelfish slates that are like two and a half inches wide. They weren't laying very big batches on there, so we're gonna try and throw a big one in there and see what happens. Also, we're gonna make these in uh, 16 inch tall, so you can throw them in 65 gallon tanks too. Removing the cone. Big slate, nice and perfect. Like you said, so the 20 gallon long. It's pretty much to the top, like Jason was saying. Nice little angle for them. We'll give you the results when they finally lay eggs, which should be in a couple of days here. So this is the one from Angels Plus again. We're gonna copy our own style. You'll be able to see it, the differences when uh, it's done. Yeah, so we're just gonna copy this one and we figured out that once we cut off that four inches on this side, we're able to get about five and then there'll be a little skinny one at the end just because of the blade width. Here we 
Florida. Definitely not legal, but that's how we do it in the beach. I had to make a little pit stop, the old Del Taco. So starving. First meal of the day, dude. <laughs> First meal, tacos, boom bap. And just did like 90 water changes and then <laughs> eat breakfast. <laughs> All right, so one lesson we just learned is not to procrastinate on things. We waited just one day to make the slates. We we're going to do it yesterday. We waited one day and we threw in an old pizza slate that we just broke randomly that won't fit in the jar. And guess what happened? It's a little hard to see because of glare, but you can see all the eggs on there. This is a new pair that we got now. You can see it's just like a broken slate we have in there and it was one day we procrastinated and they laid on there. Hopefully we can just break it and throw it in the thing though. And this pair here, I just separated, well I didn't separate them, I left them in the tank and took two other angelfish out of this this morning. So that was pretty quick right when those other ones got out of there. That's why I mentioned in other videos, they a lot of times don't eat when they're about to breed and they didn't eat. And they obviously laid a grip of eggs. Here's a little shot of the babies. We let them out. The first jar and the last wrigglers that you saw are all free swimming now. And they have little chunky bellies full. We're about to feed them, so I'll give you a little better glimpse. So we're just putting the, a slate in with the almost grown to sell babies just so they have another place to hide and just so they get used to the slate in case we uh, save some back for future breeders. We're putting one more in the tank. There, I think there's, is there only one angelfish in no, there? there's two. There's a gold and a double dark. Oh yeah, there goes the double dark right there in the bottom corner. Yeah. We're just putting them in all the tanks. So we're just trying to pump out babies so you guys Get some if you want them. And we're going to supply all the pest stores around here. There's the start of the old Pleco cave. You can see it taking shape there. This is the um, aquarium safe silicone. I know it's upside down. But it's like the GE window and door. The clear silicone. It's like type 1 or something. I don't see where it says that, but we're on the next step now. We got the back piece on, so we're going to wait 30 more minutes, throw the last piece on, and it'll be done. I wanted to show you guys the Pleco Cave we ended up finishing off. Uh, it's not like perfect or anything. We just use scrap pieces, so it's just like a little prototype, but we're going to make them in like 1.5 and 2.5 inch openings in the holes, and we're going to have some with removable tops. We're going to have a whole bunch of kinds, so there's a lot to come, but this is just to show you how we made them. So you can see it's just a little cave. We made it out of the same slate. On the side, there's these six little bumps. I accidentally turned the camera off there. So six dabs of window and door sealant. That just helps it sit on the bottom of the aquarium better without sliding. And so you can see these pieces are a little long right here on the edge. And right here, we're going to cut those off. Like I said, it's just a little prototype. But that's our little Pleco cave that we made. It's like six inches deep. So it's perfect for a little bristle nose. If you want to start breeding them, we're going to offer these guys. We're going to offer slates, a whole bunch of different stuff. So we decided we're going to give away a free angelfish pair. We mentioned it. We didn't know exactly how we're going to do it, but we figured it out. We're going to make a Instagram post once we hit 100 subscribers that says 100 subscribers and has a picture of the exact angelfish we're going to give away and it's going to be a proven breeder pair. All the fry that we have raised up and all the fry you've seen in the video, they're going to come from this pair. It's most likely going to be that one. So all you're going to have to do is comment or like the picture and if we see your name on there, we're going to throw it in a hat and we're going to draw it out and if we pick your name, you're going to get a free angelfish pair. Like I said before, we're going to pay for shipping for everything. So. If you want to win a free pair of angelfish or get started breeding angelfish, wait till we hit 100 subscribers, find the picture, like it. We're probably going to mention it in a bunch of other videos that we do, but just keep your eyes posted.